Your sister doesn't get that. Now, I don't like the way she talks to me in my own home. I just gotta laugh it off. I don't need platitudes from an eight-year-old. I'm ten. Well, if you want to make it to 11, don't tell me what to find funny. And every day you wake up breathing, you should be coloring me a thank you note of gratitude that the half of you that came for me wasn't spooged on your mother's neck, but instead was guided by yours truly to get up inside of her to start the life of you. So walk and talk with gratitude, son. <laughs> I was just kidding. Funny, huh? Laugh it off. Gallagher sperm, ambitious, relentless, everything we're not once we're born. Like heat-seeking, baby-making guided missiles. Won't be long before the whole country's nothing but Mexicans and Gallaghers. Son, it's time we had the talk. A little late for that, huh? Different talk. She gonna keep it? Looks like it. Big responsibility, being a parent. Is that right? That's what I'm trying to tell you, my philosophy. You gotta let kids learn for themselves. You know, fend for themselves. You give a man a fish, you fed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, you fed him for a lifetime. I raise fishermen. The best gift you can give, neglect. Neglect fosters self-reliance. Now do the right thing. Split. Not our fault she was careless. And just for the record, many great men have been well lubricated. Henry Ford, Scott Fitzgerald, David Hasselhoff, they all kept a bottle close. Mom? Beethoven's fifth. Coincidence? I don't think so. Do you know what this is? Eggplant? Liberation. No, no, no. Free birth. Not with all the king's Vaseline. Freedom. That won't fit. Free Fuck you, Gallagher. Then start the mother of all tabs. Once Eddie's life insurance money kicks in, moderation's gonna be a thing of the past. Moderation? Yeah. What must we talking about? City life gotta be 50K at least. There are important decisions to be made. This much money comes with great responsibility. Frank, can you run downstairs and ask Jody for the paprika? Trusts, tax evasion, liquidity. Frank. As soon as Eddie's insurance claim is settled and that check comes, we're going to have to make Frank. some sweat. I can't let you be in charge of Eddie's insurance money, sweetheart. You're an alcoholic. I wasn't talking about me. Okay. Did you think I meant me? No. We need a highly experienced professional. Who's there the are behind? important economic factors at play. It's gonna smell. Use the tub. Did Our you bring in the filet knife and the uh, mesh gloves? Security is in the ba Oh, fuck it. I'll be at the office. Paprika? Uh... Same macroeconomic headwinds, right? So how do they do a $3 billion payback? These investment banks, we bail the fuckers out. They don't loan a dime. Just, just nod your head if any of this is getting through to you. But okay, you know what? Forget all of this. All you gotta do is wear a suit, yes, and say net net, an economic indicator. Say it a lot. <laughs> don't call her by name. And listen, just, you know what to do. All right, I'll give you your cues. You just be sort of authoritative, right? William, what was the name of that guy? He was saying how this much money can shock your system. Who was that guy? Guy inherited a little over a million, destroyed his life. Uh, family, vultures, lost his wife, his health, ended up giving the money to an orphanage. Now, William was saying, you and I, together, could form a trust. I think that's a very good idea, Frank. We should just give our money to an orphanage. No, babe, you've misunderstood me. That's not saying giving it to Okay, me. okay. I, I think I just left something upstairs. I... Okay, we'll talk about this later. William will be here. Nice work, Billy. Jump in any time. That's, that's why I'm leaning towards hedge funds. You're betting it'll go up and you're betting that they'll go down. It's like it's, if the Cubs won the World Series and the world ended all in one day. It's from Eddie's Life Insurance Company.
The check came? Oh, my. Stop saying, oh, my. What does it say? He left the money to Karen. He changed the beneficiary. No! Shit, 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 shit. Karen can't handle that kind of money, Shields. She's too young, too headstrong, too, too promiscuous. <laughs> I need an alibi for Eddie Jackson's murder. You gotta swear we were on a camping trip, a long weekend in Wisconsin. Hey, well, Ian, watch Liam. We were on a camping trip. Perjure myself. Yeah, that'll look great on my West Point application. Try Mandy's dad. I hear lying to cops is his specialty. Well, you could help me. Just disfigurement, or you want the whole nine yards? Need an alibi. Mm. You figure we say we were camping? You a retard? What? No. Retards say they went camping. You know where they go next? Prison, where they get ass slammed by other retards. How are you gonna document a camping trip? <laughs> Fucking call a raccoon as your witness? I got an alibi. I got an alibi. Hey, hey! I do have, I have an alibi. This is the way you treat hardworking Americans. If I were brown and hated this country, the goddamn ACLU would be all over this place. I didn't kill Eddie. I was in Ohio. I brought your pasta primavera. Eat shit, Frank. Well, I, I would, but I recently went vegan. <laughs> Endearment, misery, and beaches, starring that guy, Bette Midler. One more thing. What the hell's that? An engagement ring. It's a little small, don't you think? They were out of the big ones. Who's it for? You. You're not serious. Serious as a heart attack. Uh, sorry, that was in poor taste. You want to marry me? Sure. I could get my new heart any time now, live a long life. Well, then let's live it together. I'm not sure I want to get stuck looking at your mug for the rest of my life. I'll wear a bag over my head. <laughs> don't you want to die knowing someone loved you? You don't love me. You're kind of growing on me. What is this about, Frank? You trying to get my pension? You have a pension? I told you. And I may be dead way before I can collect it. Yes, but when you die, and let's hope that's not for another 20 years, your pension automatically goes to your spouse. What spouse? Oh, for Christ's sake. I busted my ass around it's here. It's only been two weeks. What are you doing? Lost Karen's ring. Oh, man, that sucks. I used all my savings to buy it. When I lose something, I like to say a little prayer. Something's lost and cannot be found. Please, St. Anthony, look around. OK. You seen Karen? I don't have a prayer for that. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what's wrong with the organ transplant system? No, and I don't care, but I doubt that'll stop you. If you're waiting for a new organ, you are just interfering with God's plan. What, so God's plan is some little kid dies of kidney failure because he didn't get a transplant? Why do you argue with me? I can't, I don't know. I can't help myself. God's plan is that you take what we are given and don't complain. No one is satisfied with what they have anymore. Always trying to get something better. I don't like my heart. I think I'll get on a list, get a new one, upgrade. You talking about Butterface? If you've got a bum heart, that's your lot in life. Don't take someone else's. It's not yours. She got along just fine with her heart all these years. Why she got to be greedy and want another one? It could be worse. She could be like those people born without a heart. You mean dead people? And just because she's on some stupid list, how come she's the next one in line? Maybe there's someone needier or more deserving, like a black woman. 
those people have gotten a bum rap in our society, being two minorities and all. I should call V and tell her that. From now on, only black ladies should get all the organ transplants. Finally give them first crack at something in this lifetime. You got any skeletons, Frank? None that come to mind. Identity theft? Simple misunderstanding. Endangering the welfare of a child, human trafficking, drug running, Medicaid fraud, disability fraud, mail fraud. The longer they look, the more they'll find. Easy summer moolah, the Gallagher way. Where's Liam? In the car. You don't have a car. A friend's car. You crack a window? Left the engine running for the AC. You left a toddler in a running car in this neighborhood? <laughs> the baby laxative? This, my young progeny, is Dr. Frank's magic money-making fun dust. Oregano? Fool's gold. My, I've never seen it fail summer solstice ATM. Hey, kid. Not a fucking chance, Frank. Stole your beating from last year. You get me. Ladies, hey. hey, anybody interested in a little primo bud? Maybe a little snow for this hot summer scorcher? <laughs> Hey guys, what you looking for? Grass, yeah. What kind of money you want to spend on it? Hey! Oh, Get out of my corner! What the fuck? Hugo, how's it going? Go away, Frank. Is Mr. Todd here today? I said, out. I'm in trouble. You're always in trouble. Come on, Hugo. You know me. I wouldn't be here unless I was desperate. It's my kid. I need money. Hey, Frank, hold on. You got more takers. game. I'll see you guys later, okay? <laughs> Stan. Stan, what the fuck are you doing? Holy shit. Look at the hog on Stan. I got a baseball game. What do you think? I've heard rumors about that thing. Go back to your apartment, please. Oh, get your hands off me, you knucklehead. You gotta make me late for my game. You don't have a baseball game. Yes, I do. It's at Archer Field. I saw it today on my calendar. Oh, yeah, your calendar from 1984? Come on, let's go back upstairs. Oh, well, who's gonna play first base? You know, I just got a call. They canceled the game. Oh, Jesus, I had a lot of money on it, too. Ah. Damn it. Stan! No, 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 no. Stan, Stan! Ah! Ah! What the hell are you doing? Jesus Christ, you stupid old shit! You scared the hell out of me! What, what? I thought you were dead. No, no, I'm just taking a bath. 
Well, why was it overflowing? Well, uh, the water got cold, so I was adding some hot water. And I guess I fell asleep. Stan, you can't keep doing that, or you won't be able to live on your own anymore. Please, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, yeah? Well, you left the stove on, too. Yeah, I know that. I did it on purpose. Now get the hell out of here. Get out. You're lucky I don't drown you. Ah, uh, get out. Gee. Hey, you filthy fucking Portuguese. I know you fucked my sister. I'm gonna come down there, and I'm gonna kick your ass. Stan, what are you doing? Get in here. You're gonna get shot. Mm. Put some pants on. I got pants on. Really? Then those are the ugliest pair of flesh pants I've ever seen. Oh. Oh, Dinty Moore again? Oh, come on. You love this stuff. Yeah, but don't give me the one with the low sodium. It tastes like dog shit. What, and the one with full sodium doesn't? No, actually, it's delicious. So I could pick up a pile of dog shit and you'd eat it? Well, if it had enough salt on it. I'll keep that in mind. No. No, no I don't want to watch my language. I've been speaking this language for the last 50 goddamn years. Now you listen to me, you fucking daughter of a chink whore. Hello? Goddamn. Cunt, cunt, cunt. She hung up on me. The bitch didn't speak one word of English. She's probably in the basement of some whorehouse in Calcutta. And, and would you believe this shit? What shit? It's my electric bill. 8,700 bucks for electricity. You know, I've been running this bar for 40 years, and I never get a bill that was even close to a grand. And all I want is for them to send me one of their taco-eating, wet-back meter eaters to come here and check out the fucking thing. Yeah, that's it. Get me my shotgun. I'm going to go down there and blow the cunt's head okay, off. Can I see it, the bill? Yeah, yeah. Well, they must have made some mistake. The only mistake they made was fucking with me. All right, Stan, would you please sit down? Uh, Stan, sit down before you blow another venture. Yeah, call. blow, blow. I'm going to take care of this, all right? Arizona's got the right idea, boy. Take him down to the border and throw him over the goddamn fence. That's it. 